Gerovital, Wikipedia Audio Gerovital H3 is a controversial preparation developed in Romania during the 1950s and promoted by its advocates as an effective anti-aging treatment. During Gerovital's jet set heyday, Gerovital treatments were reportedly administered to John F. Kennedy, Marlena Dietrich, Kirk Douglas, and Salvador Dali. In the United States, the FDA bans Gerovital H3 from interstate commerce as an unapproved drug and, since 1982, has prohibited its importation. The impetus for developing the drug is sometimes alleged to have come from Nikolai Sosko, who funded the establishment of a research organization, the National Institute of Geriatrics, in Bucharest, Romania, headed by Anna Aslan. In fact, Aslan's research began years before, in the late 1940s and early 1950s. The main active ingredient is the well-known local anesthetic procaine hydrochloride. It also contains small amounts of benzoic acid, potassium metabisulfite, and disodium phosphate which are said to be important in the formulation, rendering it more effective by stabilizing it. Some advocates acknowledge that despite the stabilizers, the procaine in Gerovital H3 breaks down rapidly into DEAE and PABA, but ascribe the beneficial effects to these breakdown products. Development and Marketing From the 1950s until her death in 1988, Aslan promoted Gerovital H3 with great success. In the 1960s and 1970s her Romanian clinic, the Parhan Institute, became a mecca for celebrities seeking treatment, and an upscale tourist attraction. The New York Times referred to Gerovital's jet set aura, noting that Aslan had been covered in society columns where such public figures as Nikita S. Khrushchev, Conrad Adenauer, and IBN Sahud have been listed among the multitudes said to have taken the drug. As late as 1988 an advertisement by the Romanian National Tourist Office lauded the picturesque and exciting cities, scenic delights, famous resorts, cultural and historic treasures that await the traveler to Romania. With the rise of the web Gerovital has enjoyed a new lease of promotional life as it is promoted by many sites with claims of its cure-all abilities. One company says it sells real Gerovital H3 and warns that the American market is flooded with fake GH3, another says it has the only original formula being imported to USA, a third says beware of the many phony GH3s, we are the only company willing and able to supply documented proof of our GH3s authenticity. A 1973 New York Times article said cold water was thrown on S reputation years ago by three reports published simultaneously in British Medical Journal found no merit for procaine hydrochloride for any of the problems of aging. Some clinical trials in the mid to late 1970s suggested that Gerovital H3 acts as a weak, competitive, reversible MAO inhibitor, and so may have some antidepressant value, but otherwise has negligible effect on disease. In 1994, the US FDA Consumer Magazine said, no health claims for Gerovital have been substantiated, and FDA considers it an unapproved new drug. It has caused low blood pressure, respiratory difficulties, and convulsions in some users. Suppliers assert that the product is safe, and one cites a brief quotation from a newspaper article that says while as early as 1973 Elmer Gardner of the FDA's Bureau of Drugs stated there is no safety problem with Gerovital H3. There is no evidence that Gerovital is helpful in slowing aging or treating illness. Procaine itself is often considered to be a drug. 
Earlier references by advocates of Gerovital H3 refer to it as a drug. Hoffer and Walker call it a youth drug. Mircea Dumitru, Aslan's colleague and personal physician, describes it as a complex drug acting like the procaine molecule. The addition of benzoic acid, potassium, and disodium phosphate increase the effects of Gerovital H3 biotrophic treatment. Web-based suppliers outside and inside the United States, that offer to ship the preparation to the U.S. generally characterize it as a nutrient vitamin or dietary supplement, perhaps because of less strict legal treatment of nutritional supplements in the U.S. under the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act of 1994. A federal court in decision June 17, 1994, U.S. vs. Rogers slash TMI classified Gerovital H3 as a dietary supplement. It is notable that virtually every company claiming to supply Gerovital H3 to the U.S. warns of widespread distribution of fake formulations. Some companies suggest that products supplied by its competitors are phony. Gerovital, GH3, KH3, Zell H3, GH3 etc. This order was rescinded for Gerovital Cosmetics lines, not containing procaine, finished injectable or oral procaine hydrochloride. One Gerovital advocate states that the only way for a U.S. consumer to get authentic Gerovital H3 is to have a compounding pharmacy in the U.S. prepare it from a doctor's prescription. He adds, don't bother with a conventional doctor will have the usual American medical establishment brainwash attitude. As of 2004, the FDA's 1982 automatic detention alert is still in effect and bans the import of Gerovital H3 into the U.S. as a new drug within the meaning of 201, without an approved new drug application. Denouncement the ban covers Effectiveness Drug or nutrient Quality control FDA ban